Now, perhaps we could develop upon that a bit more. And you talked about the personal statement. What would you say are some tips, I guess, now that you might be the senior and perhaps the people yeah. watching this video are, are the juniors, perhaps? <laughs> what would be some advice for physics personal statement? For physics personal statement, I think the tips will be like, first, you need to understand if you're applying for UK universities, you need be to, to be quite academic mm -hmm. because this is the UK university, what does they care about? So kind of you need to talk about your personal insights. So this is very important. It's personal insights. It's not some code. It's not some other point of view. It must be your personal insight about this subject, about your own interests, about your curiosity. So kind of you should not just like uh, copy from one book and it says blah, 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 and find it interesting. It's, it's not like going to touch the heart of the, uh, like the interviewer or, the college professors. Mm -hmm. So the thing about personal statement is you need to try to make it into a story, like how you get into this uh, topic, what like attracts you into it, and try to add your personal voice. So make it sound more persuasive, I shouldn't say persuadable, maybe like more touching, mm -hmm. more, uh, more interesting. And then you can talk about like, uh, maybe your struggle in the process, mm -hmm. trying to understand. And then what did you do to actually overcome that struggle, to overcome that problem? And maybe this kind of overcoming, you realize something, and that realization is very important. And that is just your personal insight. Mm -hmm. And the whole story makes it more, uh, sounds more interesting and makes the professor want to talk to you mm -hmm. and maybe like know more about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's one tip, I think, my tip for personal statement. Mm. So now, now you go beyond the personal statement, getting beyond the personal statement, especially for Oxford, Oxford because Cambridge, they give out interviews like crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not trying to insult Cambridge here, I'm, but we are Oxford students, so I mean, yes. you have to bear that in mind. But one thing that comes after the personal statement, if you're successful, is an interview. What yeah. would you say are some of the tips for an interview? Uh, I think my tips for interview is, uh, it's two things. I think first is communication. Mm -hmm. So again, you need to communicate with your seniors, mm -hmm. with any source like of like reliable like person. For example, for seniors, they can actually tell you what happened in their interview mm -hmm. interviews, and they can actually give you some suggestions, especially for that college, mm -hmm. because a uh, kind of interview depends on which college mm -hmm. you are applying to. Yeah. Some college maybe like say professor. I mean for physics say uh like more math questions mm -hmm. then probably you should be more prepared in math part mm -hmm. or some and at the same time you need to do your own research on mm -hmm. that like college mm -hmm. either tutor maybe is who is interviewing you so kind of you know what kind of uh specialty he is mm -hmm. doing maybe he's doing like quantum information so maybe kind of you need to prepare your computing or uh, information theory mm -hmm. yeah and for uh communicating communication part is also like about if you are not sure about the interview just email the college mm -hmm. and ask them politely yeah because this kind of communication can avoid some problems or issues sometimes especially for my case because of when i was doing my interview actually i was in uh quarantine mm -hmm. so kind of at that time i don't have my tablet i don't have my ipad and other things. I only have one laptop mm. and pen and paper. Mm. So I asked them, can I write on the paper and show the answer to you? Mm. And they said, yes. Mm. So, and even in, in the interview, I asked them this question first mm. to ensure like I can do this kind of stuff mm. in the interview. So if I didn't ask that probably in the interview, it may be like takes more time and I may be more stressed mm. out. Yeah, so I think communication is really important, mm -hmm. not only with your seniors, with your teachers, but also with the college side. Mm -hmm. And next very important thing is definitely coming down. Mm -hmm. Don't stress yourself too much mm -hmm. before interview. Uh, so kind of, I think one very good tip for interview is that one hour before the interview, already try to find a quiet place for yourself alone and calm yourself you're down mm -hmm. uh, don't need to like study so much before interview because at that point you are already prepared mm -hmm. and you need to have the confidence in yourself maybe you can take deep breaths mm -hmm. for, for for a few cycles 
uh, just to calm, calm yourself down and empty your mind and be prepared for the interview and like get into the maybe the interview call like earlier <laughs> don't get into like last minute if this are like an internet uh loss then you then it may not give a good impression mm. for the interview 